Welcome to episode 3 of Data Security in Salesforce. Today, I'm going to talk about control access to fields or field level security. On the last episode, we cover use cases, users and profiles we have in our application. We created the profiles and we assigned the profiles to the users. On the last episode, um, I had a mistake when creating a profile for mentors. So the profile for mentor is a student profile plus for assessment he needs to create an update, for session create an update and for students read only. After the correction of the mentor profile we have this. For assessments we have create an edit and for sessions we have create an edit as well. In this episode we're going to focus access objects via permission sets. So what are permission sets and what the permission set is used for? Access fields via profiles and access fields via permission sets. Without further ado, let's get started. In our org, we have Rita and Anna. They are both sales. They have sales profile associated to them. But Anna needs to access to cases object as she will be a backup for a colleague. And for that, she needs to access the cases for one week only. For their profile, for sales profile, the cases objects are disabled. So the sales people cannot read access the cases object. To enable the access temporary access for Anna, we're going to create a permission set. And this permission set, we have an access to cases. So a permission set basically is a, an extension of profiles. So it not, doesn't replace a profile, but extends permissions to a profile. If you have like several users sharing the same profile, but you want to temporarily or um, any other use case associate or assign specific permissions, you can use permission sets. You cannot set all kinds of permissions using the permission set. For example, login hours you cannot set in the permission set, it's only by the profile. Okay, most of the object and field permissions you can set by the user, profile and permission set. To sum up, if all users share the same object and fields permission, use the profile. And if you want to dedicate a specific permission to a user temporarily or for any use case, create a permission set and assign to users. A user can have as many permission set I assigned to it. But for profiles, a user can have only one profile. So we have the sales profile that is assigned to Rita and Anna. Both Anna and Rita have only one profile that is a sales. And what we're going to create today is we're going to create another permission set and assign to Anna. And this permission set will be specifically to enable Anna to access to cases. Let's go to the Salesforce Playground and see that in practice. Being on the Salesforce Playground, go to Setup. On your left, you have Users, Permission Set. Click Permission Set. And these are all the standard permission set. We're gonna create one. That is a new permission set. And we say access to cases. Okay. We choose the Salesforce license and save. Now we can manage the permissions for this permission set. Let's go to Object Settings, look for Cases, Edit the Cases, Enable Tab Visible to Yes, uh, and Edit and Read. So Anna can edit the case and can read the case. We can set as well field permissions for the case. 
that Anna can have access to edit or read only uh, on this permission set. For now, let's leave the standard fields selected and we click on save. Now you go to permission set, access to cases is our custom permission set. Let's go to users. Let's log in as Anna. So I will log in with Anna. And then I will look for cases. I don't see any cases in my Salesforce org. Log in as Anna. Okay. I will give now the permission set to Anna so she will be able to see the cases object. Let's go back as admin. Back to admin, let's go to setup, users, users list, and we select Anna. We go on the top, we have permission set assignments. We click there. We edit assignments for permission set, and we select the permission set we want to associate to this user. As you can see here, we can associate as many permission sets as you want. Let's click Add and Save. Now Anna has the sales profile and access to cases permission set. Now Anna, as a sales, she should be able to see edit cases. Let's log in as Anna. We look for cases and now we see cases and if we see all all cases now Anna should have access to see all the cases in the arc Mark and Simon they are both mentors they should have read-only access to the following fields name email birth date degrees fields on the student object they shall not see social security number, postal address, and phone number from the student object. All mentors should have the same access configuration, in this case using a mentor profile. Let's head up to the Salesforce background how we can enable access fields via profile. I'll go to Setup. On your left, Users, Profiles. And go to mentor profile scroll down until you see custom field level security okay. let's go to student view and you can see here on the mentor profile we have a wrong field access we have birth date edit and email edit the mentor should be able only to read birth date and email click on odd edit Remove the edit from birth date and email and save. Now the mentor should be able only to read the fields and they should not be able to see the phone, postal address and social security number. So we go back to profile and that's it. So if we log in as a, as a mentor we should not see all that fields. Let's log in as a mentor. Let's go to users. We log in as Mark, our mentor. And we look for student object. Student objects. We click in our student. And he can read only email, but there's no way to edit. He cannot edit. Uh, the record. Simon temporarily has a new mission besides being a mentor. He is going to work with Jenny, our student success manager. They are going to send a summer present to every single student. For that, Simon needs to read the postal address field on the student object. The admin will create a permission set with this access and assign to Simon. When the mission is ended, that means we remove the permission set. We have the mentor profile assigned to Mark and Simon, and Simon will have an extra permission to 
to access read-only to postal address on student. We will create a permission set for that. Let's go to our Salesforce playground and to see how we can enable access fields via permission set. Go to setup. On your left, click permission set. Create a new permission set and name it access read postal address read postal address you can have multiple access on the same permission okay so read postal address student choose the salesforce license and save Go to the permission list, AR, read, edit, and we have object settings. Click on object settings, look for student, scroll down until we see students, students, all access settings is already set it on the profile we're gonna set only the ones you want to give extra access okay so the, the permission set will not read what is already set and enable that so it's an extra access you cannot remove access using permission set so click on the edit scroll down and read only postal address click on save So let's confirm, postal address read only. Let's go to our users. We are on the users list. Click on Simon. On the top, click permission set assignment, edit assignment, and add read postal address student. Save. Now Simon has the mentor profile with a read postal address student permission set let's log in as simon and see if he has access to that field log in as simon go to students Click on the student the end and he sees the postal address now we log in as mark and mark should not be able to see the postal address let's see that in our users list login as mark now we are logged in as mark let's look for student object click on the end and he cannot see the postal address. So the permission set works. To sum up, each user can have only one profile and a user can have a set of permission sets. So as many permission sets as you want to give an extra extended permission to the user besides the profile. A user can have many permission sets, one profile, and both the profile and permission set, you can manage access, crude access to object and visibility edit access to fields. On the next episode, we're going to talk about permission set groups. If you missed the first two episodes of data security, have a look at the first episode about control access to org and the second episode about control access to objects. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.